How's it going YouTube? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about this device right here. This is the Motorola Moto G7. We're going to be showing you two methods to factory reset this device. First one is going to be the proper way and then the second one is going to be the emergency method as you could say. Okay, so the proper way is always from settings on the device. So you're going to go to your settings application and there's two ways to get to once you're in settings. Number one is on this device for Motorola, you can go to System, Advanced, and then you can go to Reset. Okay, and then right here it says Erase All Data Factory Reset. That's the option that you want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and tap that, and then you would hit Erase All Data. And if you have an account signed in or you have a PIN password on the device, you have to enter that information and then it'll factory reset the device, okay? This is the proper way. This is the way that you won't get stuck with factory reset protection tripped on the device where you have to sign into the previously linked Google account. So if you do it from settings, you're safe and you'll be good to go 100% reset without tripping factory reset protection on the device, okay? All right, so this that's the easy method. The other way you can get to um, Anytime you're in settings, and probably the easiest instead of knowing which option to pick, is just to come to the top and go ahead and do a search for factory. Oh, there you go. See? Didn't even get it all in. And then you can click on the search results, and right there it goes right to it. Okay? So that's always easiest is to do the search from settings. But um, you can also, if you know where it's at, just go straight to it, whichever way you want to go. All right. So from here, we're going to show you the second method to factory reset the device. Okay? So first thing you got to do is you got to hold down your power button and turn off the device. And what we're going to do here is we're going to boot into two modes. The first one is bootloader mode. And the way you do that on Motorola devices, on the Moto G7 here, is you hold down volume down and then you hold down power. And you just keep holding them until you see this right here. Okay? This is bootloader mode. All right? So now you can see on the screen you have an up arrow and down arrow and you have a start button, okay? So from here we need to get into stock Android recovery. So to do that, you're going to use the volume up and down to scroll. So this is restart bootloader, recovery mode. That's the one we want, okay? So then we're going to select recovery mode with the power button. And the device should boot into Android recovery here. Now, sometimes what happens and confuses a lot of people is it does this, and it says no commands. So how do you escalate into the recovery menu from here? It varies, but generally it has to do with holding volume up and then um, tapping the power button. So let's try it. So we're going to hold volume up, and then we're going to hit the power button. Sometimes it's hold the power button and hit tap volume up. There you go. On this one, you hold the volume or power button for like three seconds and then you tap volume up and now you have a recovery menu. Let's go take a closer look. So once you're in Android recovery there is some information on the top in yellow that's very important to note. It talks about your build version, Android version, things like that. They're all up there. It does tell you how to maneuver the menu which is volume up and down and power just like anything once you're in these kind of modes. So it says reboot system now we don't want that so we're going to use volume down and we're going to scroll down until you see this option right here. Wipe data factory reset then you're going to select with the power button and then it says are you sure you really want to do this it's going to wipe all the data off the device uh, obviously if you have pictures or things you want to save obviously don't do this but if you have a device that will not boot up correctly or it just won't work right this is going to be an option that will get your device functioning back to factory reset or back to factory so factory data reset we're going to say go ahead and run that and then we're going to um, select it with the power button and what happens in recovery here is there's a little bit of wipe on the bottom. It talks about wiping data, formatting data, and then it'll probably do a wipe cache as well. Um, depending on your device, these, t these processes can be almost instant, and sometimes it'll take a little longer. You can see that was like, what, five seconds? Not a big deal. Okay. So from here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit the reboot system now because we want to go ahead and start the device back up now that it has been factory reset. So we're going to go and hit that button. and the device is booting back up. So um, we're watching the initial boot up here. Um, this process, you know, because we factory reset and it has to set up apps and everything and reset up the system, could take a while, probably on most new devices, less than five minutes. 
Um, most of the time I'm seeing it's even quicker than that, normally like two or three. Um, and you just got to wait for it to go through the boot up process. But it is longer than a normal boot up, so don't expect it to boot up exactly like it does normally when you repower cycle the device. Um, it will take longer because it is factory reset. Now, that being, being said, what's going to happen here is we're going to be at the window on this device that is just the initial setup wizard, okay? So everything's reset, everything's wiped off, all the accounts are removed off the device, and we'll be back to that window. Now, if you've done this and you have tripped FRP, factory reset protection, and it's asking you to sign into the previously synced Google account when the device boots up here, you're going to need a bypass method. Now, I have some things, a whole playlist on FRP bypass methods linked below this video that you can go check out in the video description and watch some of those. They might be able to help you to get back into uh, a device that is FRP tripped. But we're talking about factory reset, um, factory resetting the device here, wiping the data, and watching it boot up. And now you know how to do it by going into bootloader mode and then getting into stock Android recovery to wipe the device. Oh, I came out of nowhere. I was going to get a seizure watching all those colors flash. Holy cow. All right. So there you go. We are on the setup wizard. The device has been factory reset. And you are good to go. That's the procedure. I hope you guys like it. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel down below. And we'll catch you in the next video. Root Junkie out.